the energy and the momentum in an electromagnetic waves. In an electromagnetic wave, the flow of energy is given by the pointing vector represented by the letter S whose direction is in the direction of propagation of the wave. And this pointing vector, it accounts for the radiation pressure. The, when the electromagnetic wave, it falls on a perfect absorber, it delivers its momentum to the surface. This is the momentum conveyed per unit area per second by the electromagnetic field on an absorber is measured as the radiation pressure. So in this part, we are connecting a relation between the energy density and the pointing vector and also the momentum density, pointing vector and finally an expression for the radiation pressure. So in the case of an electromagnetic wave, the energy stored in an the energy per unit volume stored in an electromagnetic field it can be represented as u is equal to the total energy stored that is half epsilon 0 e square plus 1 by mu 0 b square this is the total energy stored in an electromagnetic field but in the case of a plain monochromatic wave the electric field and the magnetic field vectors can be connected that is b square is equal to 1 by c square into e square or but the c square can be written as 1 by mu 0 epsilon 0 so this will become mu 0 epsilon 0 e square so b square can be written in terms of e square so in this equation if we apply the value of b in terms of e then we get that is u is equal to epsilon e square epsilon 0 e square is equal to epsilon 0 into e can be written as e0 cos k is at minus omega t plus delta we are assuming a which is a wave electromagnetic wave which is moving in the z direction so when the move uh, propagates or the when the move when the wave propagates it carries an energy with it and this energy transport by the electromagnetic field per unit area per unit time is called the pointing vector and it can be represented as S is equal to 1 by mu 0 e cross b. But this b can be represented in terms of e. Then we get 1 by mu 0 this e, e, e can be represented as e0 cos kz minus omega t plus delta. That is 1 by mu 0 e0 square cos square k z minus omega t plus delta into z if you are considering a monochromatic wave which is traveling in the z direction so here we can say mu 0 c because b is equal to e by c so b instead of b we can write it as e by c so 1 by mu 0 c e 0 square cos square k z minus omega t plus delta into z z means say monochromatic plane wave which is traveling in the z direction so in this equation if we multiply this equation with the c and divided this equation with the c then we get that is c epsilon 0 e 0 square cos square k z minus omega t plus delta into z so if you multiply it with c, then c by mu 0 c square, again c square is 1 by mu 0 epsilon 0, substituting this value, mu 0 will cancel and the epsilon 0 will be there. That is c epsilon 0 e 0 square cos square k z minus omega t plus delta. Then here we are assuming this term, that is epsilon 0 
is 0 square this day it will be that this one that is u so we can represent this equation as c u this is that is this s vector that is s vector can be represented in terms of the energy density terms that is the pointing vector can be represented as the product of velocity of the wave that is c is the velocity and the energy density u the energy density u next we can consider the momentum density also the momentum density so the momentum density so the electromagnetic field not only carry energy but it also imparts some momentum the momentum density stored in an electromagnetic field can be represented in terms of the pointing vector that is the momentum density that is g can represent as 1 by c square times the pointing vector this is the momentum density so here we can substitute the value of s for a monochromatic plane wave and then g will be becomes that is 1 by c square into then s will be for a plane monochromatic wave which is moving in the z direction the value of the s will be this is the value of the s that is c epsilon 0 then it become c epsilon 0 e0 square co square kz minus omega t plus delta into z if it is moving in the z direction is that then we get the c will be cancels and we get finally that is 1 by c epsilon 0 e0 square co square kz minus omega t plus delta into z and this term we are considering this term as again the energy density total energy density that is 1 by c u this is z that is the moment and density also can be represented in terms of the total energy density so here we are considering the average value of the energy and momentum so the average value means it is the time average over a complete cycle so this average value can be represented as this bracket the bracket used for representing the average value so when we are considering the energy density that is the total energy density this is the total energy density u is the total energy density stored in an electromagnetic field it will be this epsilon 0 e0 square cos kz minus omega t when we are considering the average of this cos value we know that the average of this cos square square cos square cos square theta is equal to 1 by 2 half average of this cos square this term is 1 by 2 then we can represent this average value of the total energy density then pointing vector then also the momentum density then the average value that is the average value of the total energy density will be 1 by 2 epsilon 0 e0 square because average density this is the total energy density average value this will be half we are considering the time average or a, over a complete cycle similarly the average value of the pointing vector it is half c epsilon 0 e 0 square z so here the average of this is the this cos square this time will be half then also for the energy momentum density density it is 1 by 2 c epsilon 0 e 0 square z these are the average values of energy momentum and the pointing vector so we can define the intensity here that is the intensity of a wave can be defined as the average power per unit area transported by the electromagnetic wave so the intensity i can be represented as i is equal to the average power transported per unit area that is the average energy transported per unit time per unit area is the point vector so we can represent this average power transported per unit area that is this average value of the 
point in vector is it will be half c epsilon 0 is 0 square then similarly we can represent the radiation pressure the radiation pressure means the momentum conveyed per unit area per second by the electromagnetic field on a perfect absorbing surface when the electromagnetic waves falls on the surface and this radiation pressure P can be represented as I by C radiation pressure is equal to I by C so this is I I is equal to half C epsilon 0 is 0 square then divided by C then the radiation pressure will be half epsilon 0 is square this is the radiation pressure